Hey everyone, it's Sleepy Legs Gaming here. Now welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of LA Noir. Now in the last video, we started another case, the White Shoe Slay. We have a dead woman on our hands. Uh, we went to the victim's house, we investigated the house and all the signs point to the husband. The husband has been arrested and taken to the police station and we left the video just about ahead to Baron's bar where she was drinking. Now without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Here we go, Baron's Bar, 1.10 p.m. Let's jump in here. I can't decide between Gents. the tuna fish and the chicken. Drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Right, so last contact with the victim. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. Doesn't seem to be uh, any kind of eye movement or whatnot, so we'll go good cop. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Root beers all around, doll. So what do we have here? Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Okay. So, vagrant male suspect. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. Looking a bit shifty. Let's go bad cop. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Ooh. So the yellow cab? Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. And he's telling the truth with that one. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. <laughs> this is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you. Oh, here we go. You can't let the son of a bitch get away. Bates, we just want to oh, talk. I thought I was going to be able to jump over there. Come on, got to ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were going to leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar that he meant to pick it. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Come on, get out of my way. showing you how it's done. You got to get me closer. Um, I'm trying to get you closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Here we go. Wish me luck. Let's end this farce. Oh, what? Maybe you shouldn't have waited for me, Phelps. That's ridiculous, man. He's missing tires and oh, he's bloody. You're letting this lust get away from you. Oh, come on. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. Spin him out, Cole. The road's wet. 
About time, Jesus All right. Christ. Alright, you got me. I've had enough. Put your hands in the air! <laughs> had to move okay, there for mates. that. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this. So, contact with the victim. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Uh, he looks like he's talking shit. He's like, uh, what? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Count of movements. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Bullshit again. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look. I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Reckless driving. Today's private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Right, so let's uh, jump over to the phone. For info in the yellow cab. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Are there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup mm. is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks, man. Well, there you go. Just turned up. Let's just jump in the car. Oh, hang on. There's a couple of cars in here. Let's uh, check them out. Packard Clipper number 25 out of 95. Not a new one. And one more over here. <clears throat> And they are Cadillac Series 61. So we got 26 out. Get out of my way. Uh, 26 out of 95 so far. Jump into our car. So let's go to the police station. Now heading west on 7th Street. Oh. Garage on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Phelps. The cab driver might tie this whole thing together. I hope you're right. Right, so let's go to the yellow cab trace. You see our taxi anywhere? Where's that cab got to now? 11K, yellow cab number 3591, sighted at the corner of Wilshire and Whitmer. Repeat, Wilshire and Whitmer, 11K. 11K, K, yellow cab number 3591, vehicle identified at Reggie's Cafe, heading north on Whitmer. Oh, it's just around the corner. Here it comes. Five nine one. That's him there, Phelps. Hit the siren.
LAPD. Here we go. We're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fair you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It was a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor. He was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you That look in his eye. It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's gonna ruin my day. Sorry to have ruined your day. We're not going to that one. <laughs> Look at the door. Let's get out and go back in. That's better. Go on, get in. That's a nightmare. Right, so let's go to Central Police Station and go and question uh, Jessup, the sailor. Central Police Station, 2.37pm. We got a bit waylaid. After that, we shoot out. He's in interview two. Okay. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. All right, okay, so interview room two is up here. Mouthpiece strips off me at the Grand Jury. Oh, here he is. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Right, so James Jessup. U.S. Navy able seaman seen with victim of night of murder. So let's contact with the victim. You went to Barron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. Shifty, we don't know anything about this guy, so it's just going to be bad to call. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. So, incident with Bates. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Still a bit shifty? He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. <laughs> Movements prior to murder. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Oh, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Still shifty. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An All-American 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. And cab ride with victim. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. <laughs> Look as we smirk. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the Crystal Ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. 
Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And mm. looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assault. Thanks. What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> right, so let's go to the bus depot. Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. Yeah, that's us. 11K, go ahead. Bobby K, Ross. Roger that. Plenty of time to get downtown, Paul. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, mm -hmm. we have Lars Carrollton picked up. Oh, that was close. Almost rear-ended all those cars. Here we go, bus depot. 2.57 p.m. Let's run into the terminal. Thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All-American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeparelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I'm... Should have it mapped out here somewhere. All right, so let's have a look at the route. So, all American bus route map. Oh, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. Right, let's jump in the car and we'll just circle the loop and until we find our bus driver. So as you can see on the map we have a red line all the way around. That's literally the route. So All American 7-4, let's go get him. Let's drive the opposite way. So we'll catch him head on. This could be a long trip, Cole. or it could siren on, and, and let's go. Me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Touchy. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Save it, Phelps. You're just as bored as I am. Not for your life. Here it is. That's the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. Is some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. Mm. Know, Mr. Zeffirelli. So there we go, the hobo camp again. So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers and left her brought along. Left her by the hobo camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm going to call for some backup. These bows hate cops. That's fine, so we'll make our way over to the hobo camp. 
Here we go. Hobo Camp, 3.40 p.m. Oh, we're going into the shoddy. LAPD. Oh, they're closing the gate on us. Even for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. If you want your right to share, we need to. Hey, disciples know what you did last night? Oh, he's given us the double hit. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, punk? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. <laughs> we'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Right, so now before we go in there, Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. There is one of these uh, places has a is that a record in it or something? Yes, there we go. We collectible. I'm sure it's just the one collectible that's here. Right, so let's go in. Oh, a newspaper straight in there. Missing morphine. Cops say goons fighting dope war. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Mm-hmm. So put the object down. Now let's go and search for the clues here. So that's five out of three. We got purse here. Ah, 
Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. Mm hmm. Crystal Ballroom. Is that a photo at the end? It doesn't look like anything. Oh, the rope. Looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. Right guys, I think that's where we we'll leave the video. Remember, if you want to help support the channel, please check out the links in the description. And thanks for watching another video of Ellie Noir. If you've liked it, whoosh, high five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.